Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Um, today we'll talk about the spiritual um, essence of uh, suhoor and iftar. Suhoor is basically getting up at sahar. Many times because uh, nights are very short in summer and many people don't get up, they only have iftar and then they just get up at a very late time, uh, only pray fajr and then go back to sleep. But getting up at sahar, sahar time is a time when the angels are coming down and there is um, there are many prayers that are accepted. There are many du'as at Sahar time, especially uh, Dua Abu Hamza Thimali. Uh, and there are many, many other du'as at Sahar, um, reading Quran, especially nightly prayers, Tahajjud, one must not miss in, uh, uh, in uh, the month of Ramadan, it's Sahar. So just even eating a date or just having a glass of water is regarded as Sahar Suhoor. So, so, you know, getting up, Sahar is basically the time before Fajr. And uh, to have some food uh, or drink for preparing yourself for the fast. Uh, it has spiritual effects. Uh, first of all, you are up at the time when uh, it is the best time to do Ibadat. And secondly, you will doing, you'll be doing Fajr at Awal. Uh, at awal waqt, at you know, its original prescribed time. Likewise, iftar. Iftar, the spiritual effects are that you should invite other people. It teaches you to sacrifice because everyone has a long fast, so you try and break it quickly, but you try and serve others. So iftar is the best time to, uh, is the time when the person has just now completed an ibadat and an obedience to Allah, and that you have obeyed, oh Allah, have fasted, and it is the best time to pray. Your dua is accepted at the time of iftar, but mostly we are just uh, too um, busy with the preparing the food. So it is, you should prepare food, you are weak, you've been fasting all day, but it is the best time to make dua. Read some Quran, especially in Anzalna Surah Qadr and also Ayat Al-Kursi. Try and recite something for your marhumin, some Quran, some Salawat, any Quran, any part of Quran is highly rewarding. Surah Fatiha, Ikhlas, anything and also to read some dua to you know to let Swami Khadinavet you know when you are at Suhoor try and make the intention it is Musahab highly recommended that you make one intention for the whole month if you are going to be fasting the whole month um, if you're not traveling or anything like that and uh, to renew the intention every night you know it is good and at the time of iftar just to make dua to Allah SWT oh Allah I pray fast it for you uh, and I'm going to be now um, opening my fast, uh, you know, breaking it, not breaking it, but you know, completing it uh, with your sustenance that the risk you gave me. And I rely upon you. So it is extremely important that you realize that you are, you've been a guest of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the whole day, and now you are opening your fast with the sustenance he's given you. So it is very important that you um, that you uh, do pray, make dua for yourself and uh, before you pray for yourself, your relatives and before you even pray for your own relatives like your mom and dad, your uh, spouses, your children, you pray for Ummah, for the rest of the Muslims, your neighbors, friends, and then your relatives and at the end for yourself. What happens is that we many times try and pray for ourselves first, then our relatives, children, then family members, friends, and at the end of No, it should be the other way around. And that's when the prayer for yourself is accepted. So it is the best time, suhoor and iftar is the best time because that's when you're starting sahar. And iftar is the time when you are completing an obedience to Allah. So it is the best time to pray for yourself and one should not... Uh, uh, one should not ignore that prayer because it is a time for acceptance of prayer. So ask each other uh, to pray for each other. Thank you for listening.